Hey there folks, and welcome back to Venice in Europa Universalis for the Mario Nostrum expansion. So in the last episode, we, uh, we got a peace with Savoy, making them another treaties with uh, Spain and Austria. And we took Ferenz from the Pope. Quite a province is Ferenz, unfortunately it's already reformed, so there's quite a bit of unhappiness here, but that's fine. I'm gonna wait a couple of months to uh, to start coring it, and yeah, I was talking about, ah, before I forget it, let's have you protect trade in Ragusa instead, um, and yeah, I was talking about going to war with, say, Bosnia. Independence guaranteed by the Ottomans, all right. Well, I guess we won't be co-belligerenting Serbia. Uh, yeah, going to war with, uh, with Bosnia and just taking their money. Just, you know, getting a little extra, extra value that way. We may make them give up some claims, grab some prestige, you know, just to have something to do. Improvements in government technology. Yeah, we'll definitely spare no expense. Transports have arrived in Leica. 1165. Right, because we've got over 50 power projection. Very, very nice. Between being able to insult Austria when this gets uh, about to 50. I think we can hold on to that for quite a number of years. So that'll be, that'll be nice. We are having to pay to root out corruption presently because of our overextension, which is not that big of a deal. Right, we picked up another fort, but we also picked up a lot more in the way of development. Quite a bit of unrest running around. Crete's at almost 10. Hmm. Yeah, we've got about four between overextension and war exhaustion, so that's less than ideal. Let's have these guys hang out in Dina. Oh yes, it reminds me. Let's start the spy network in Savoy. All right, let's break off. And probably a cab, sure. Rigorous researchers gain 120 monarch points. Okay. All right. Ooh, you want military access, do you, Florence? Uh, hmm. Well, the downside is if we say no, they could join a coalition against us. Turned from Muscovy. We've lost Zeta as a province, as a uh, claim. A little unfortunate. Now let's take a quick look at the coalition map mode. What kind of heat do we have? So Austria got yeah, about 25 aggressive expansion. There's definitely some going around. Uh, yeah, and part of the reason we couldn't have done that with Mantua is we just would have gotten so much aggressive expansion with Spain now that they're in Italy. Uh, we probably would have lost them as an ally and put Austria in a uh, in a coalition against us, which is not a good combination because we we definitely can't fight Austria. We would really need to have both of our allies. 
well, all three of our allies, uh, including Bohemia, to uh, to make a go to make a go of that particular. coalition. So always got quite a bit. Florence has quite a bit. Pisa's got not quite enough. Yeah, so we're pretty okay presently. What kind of rebels would you even have here? Except, I don't necessarily necessarily feel like I need to, but I will. All right. In terms of unhappiness, I think we're doing pretty all right. Yeah, separatism has gone away in Milan, so that definitely definitely helps. As far as all of this goes, yeah, we're not doing any of that anytime soon. Venetian interdict. Hmm. Venice is Venice. Lose 20 prestige and the Pope may go to war with us. Or... Remove this. Which is increased religious unity, increased tolerance of heretics, and reduced yearly papal influence. I don't like losing 20 prestige, but I don't want to give up that bonus either. I was really hoping you'd declare, Pope. I mean, you know, all this juicy, juicy land could be yours for the low, low price of declaring war. Let's improve with Spain over the uh, yearly tick. See, we can have force limit of 33. It's definitely more infantry than we necessarily need. Let's take we'll take those and disband them. Hmm, when do we next get cannons? Tech 13. It's definitely a little ways away. Still, cannons are pretty good. I've heard. Let's make two more, so then we can have two stacks of six cannons. Damn it, Florence. Come on now. <laughs> Paranoid recruitment. Ah, yes, we're making buckets and buckets of ducats again. Well, that's nice. Kind of discovery spread. Patty, eh? Alright, I'll go ahead and 
ahead and start the core now. Come on back. Seems like we're in pretty good shape there. War! Oh boy. Traitorous France. Traitorous Bohemia. Well, I mean, Bohemia is in the middle of another war. France was literally a billion ducats in debt. Hopefully we can get that back and hopefully we don't get declared upon by Austria in the meantime. That's what really concerns me. I said conquest. Conquest of what? Of Uboa. Yeah, that's less than ideal. Ninety-six galleys. Probably should have been keeping somewhat of a closer eye on that. Alright, we are at war. Spain, Mimmingdom, Nuremberg. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a big war. Oh, and Morocco is involved. That's bad for us. Actively problematic. Where is this navy? It's just docked. So maybe I chose a poor time. <laughs> to disband some army. Papal peasants. All right, well, we shouldn't have a tr any real trouble with papal peasants. Can we... Now, Serbia, I recognize that you hate my guts, but are you entirely sure that you don't want to... Yeah, you are entirely sure, aren't you? Well, damn it, Serbia. In terms of troops, steal myself before I scroll up. 67,000 with 115,000 manpower. Also, they're the Ottomans, so they're going to have discipline bonuses and cav bonuses, at least infantry bonuses, maybe not cav. Idea-wise, discipline, cav, yeah. Uh, but what I'm thinking about is the Janissaries, which would be an additional discipline bonus. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, this is going to be rough. It's entirely possible we're giving them Uboa in this war. Potentially more, hopefully not. Alright, uh... I guess I can't really have this navy chill out over here. So I guess I'll bring them back around. Alright, Spain, Nuremberg, Mimingen. Okay. 
curiosity. Oh, well, that's right. We're overextended, so we wouldn't have as big of a uh, diplomatic thing of a bobber. There we go. Diplomatic reputation thing. Florence. Uh, that seems unlikely. Yeah, I'm gonna go with unlikely. Yeah, they hate the Pope. But we're not gonna make them like us. At least not anytime soon. Cyprus has been blockaded. Yeah, I'll buy that. Fortunately, this means we're gonna open up our uh, our islands here to being plundered. Come on now, France. Press expansion, yeah, allied to rival, indeed. Indeed, on all of these points. I guess if I put a full army on Uboa, it would be in pretty rough shape trying to actually get there. Pope has a claim on this. Oh, the Pope probably has a claim on all of our provinces. Indeed. Indeed. An alliance offer from the Knights. Uh, unfortunately, Monsieur Knights, I think I'm going to have to turn that down. Largely. Uh, because I can't really afford another in diplomatic slot. Diplomatic relation, etc., etc. All those terms. There we go. Alright. So we've gotten this navy together. I think we're just going to join into one full-size navy. Let's see what we can do from there. What's our combat width? 27? So half of that would be 13, presumably. Let's have 13 units of artillery. Start. Start with the infantry. Start with the mercs, rather. And war together. All that other good stuff. Is that all they're interested? No, they're interested in all of our islands. Unsurprisingly. I mean, if you guys want to go siege down Spain. I might be willing to give you parts of Italy. I'm just saying. That is a possibility. Yes, let's go and deal with that. deal with him. <laughs> um, hmm. I mean, I guess that's true. I do have diplomatic relations to spare. So 
so I guess I could have allied the knights on that basis. That doesn't seem like a particularly strong argument. All right. Thinking about landing on Corfu. Obviously, it would help us massively if someone were to declare war on the Ottomans, but unfortunately, they don't currently border the Thames, and I don't know that the Thames are actually in a position to, you know, hurt the Ottomans anyway. Timurids, Timur, one guy, one, one guy. Now I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that's a no-go on the Timurids being anything whatsoever. Hasa, you're allied with Kara. I wonder if that could be a thing. Hasa, Kara, and Ghazi here? We would have to hurt them significantly, I would say. Let's prove relations there. Not ah, good. We captured a galley. Very nice. Create a template. It's like an incredibly long time to build these things. Okay. It's not actually how long it's going to take. Wait. It queued stuff up. Interesting. Alright, so we've got our navy together. Hmm. Ferrara. Army has arrived. Good deal. Level two fort. Hmm. All right. Let's figure out which. 20? Yeah, which 20 folks I want to take on a journey. I will definitely at least have cannons. Probably a pair of cav.
Something like this, maybe? Sure. So we're through there. Hmm. Located it. Boa, indeed. Yeah, that's thirty one stack. So we're not going to be there anywhere, we're anywhere close to end time. Okay, they're looking to dock up in Corfu. Yeah, I think I'm going to land on Corfu and try to siege it down. Just try to siege anything, basically. Whatever we can do. I mean, the good news is, the boat is not a fort, so they're not going to get more than just uh, the ticking war score from it, but they are going to get the ticking war score from it. Yeah, the boat has come under their control. I guess I can't really do this, can I? Florence, indeed. How long does it take to get back to the boat? As long as I expected. See, it just takes 39 days. Alright. So they've left a cannon on Oboa. Alright, they've left an actual sort of stack. Our trader died. Alright, jeez. Guys, guys lived quite, quite a life. Alright, we'll get another level 2 trader, I think. Yeah. Seems like the way to go. Yeah, we're still making quite a bit. Overall, inflation's not ideal. So it goes. Suggest an offer. What do you want? Uboa and Crete. Annul treaties with Spain. Interesting. Uh, no. But I guess maybe. <laughs> it could definitely turn out that we need to do something like that, but maybe not. Yeah, who saw that coming? I bet it was everybody. Damn it. I assume Hungary's getting in on that action. Oh, Spain did honor our military alliance, so I'm going to have a think about this, because I could definitely turn over Crete and Duboa. 
and maybe do something else than annul treaties with Spain. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have a think about that, folks. going to call this an episode. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one where we'll deal with this terrible, terrible situation. Yeah.